both the measures together. One E and a, two E and a. 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 So that's how it goes. So let's try this with a metronome. practicing tango rhythms today i have eight measures of uh this drill that is only for the left hand and it's written in two four so you can have a look at the music here so it's in two four and each measure has actually two beats that are broken into a dotted eighth and a sixteenth and a dotted eighth and a 16th. So if I break the quarter note into four parts, the first three goes to here and the last beat goes here. So it's like one, if I break one, two into one E and a, two E and a, so it goes like one E and a, two E and a. So it's like da, 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 da. So, oh, actually I was wrong. So these two are uh, just plain eighth notes and they're just symmetric. These go as like one and two and so it's like one E and a, two E and a. So it goes like da, 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 da. So I'm gonna start my metronome at uh, 48 beats per minute and I got this nice metronome from Amazon it's Amazon basics and uh, I, I really like it it was uh, under 20 bucks and uh, it even has the bell feature where you can adjust the time signature like how, how many uh, beats do you want your measure to be and then the bell will go off after so many ticks so right now I've set this at uh, two beats per measure uh, since we are in two four and for every two beats, you'll hear the bell. It's like one, two, one, two, one, two. And for this song, we have to subdivide each of these beats into four parts. So I'm gonna count beat one as one E Anna and beat two as two E Anna. One E Anna, no. one E Anna. Two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a one e and a two e and a da 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 da. So that's that's the timing we're gonna be uh, playing for the rhythm. I'm gonna start at this uh, tempo and I'm gonna gradually work my way up to a faster tempo. So I'm gonna turn off the metronome for a while. So uh, <clears throat> instead of playing C, C major, C major, C as uh, equally long notes, we are stretching out that first pair of notes so that the first hit on the bass is actually for three subdivisions and the chord is for one subdivision. It's like one and Here we go again. One E and A. And then when we play C major and C bass again, we do that as equal subdivisions, which are for two parts each, which is one, two E and A. So it goes like one E and A, two E and A. And the next beat uh, plays the exact same rhythm, but with D bass and G major chord. Two E and A, three E and A. So 
let's do this again both the measures together one e and a two e and a 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 so that's how it goes so let's try this with a metronome uh even though 40 eight beats per minute is actually pretty slow. We are uh, playing this in eighth notes, so it's actually uh, twice as fast. We have 48 quarter notes per uh, minute, but uh, let's see how this goes. I'm also noticing some accents here uh, for certain beats, so I'm gonna try to add that. like doing this in smaller increments of uh, tempo because the tempo increases barely noticeable and you're not really pushing yourself but uh, you keep up with that smaller increment so after like four or five steps you are a significantly faster tempo and you don't really feel any anxiety to keep up with the beat so we're gonna do the same thing at 52 beats per minute now So I'm not going to bore you with all of the other smaller increments that I'm going to go through with. So I'll uh, edit these sections out and then I'll show you the fastest speed that I was able to play this at the end of the practice today. I've been repeating this for each step increment at the metronome and uh, I, I play the same drill and repeat it for three times without making a mistake. So that's when I decide that I could try the next step. Every time I make a, a mistake, the count resets. So I have to play three consecutive times without making a mistake. And that's when I move on to the next level. And I think I've reached the peak speed that I can play uh, uh, for now. And I don't think I'll be able to go any faster. So 132 beats per minute is what uh, I could go with right now. So let's give that a shot. <laughs> this up right now with uh, 132 beats per minute I'm starting to develop uh, some tension in my wrist and uh, my technique is starting to break down so I don't think I should be pushing this any faster so uh, maybe I'll have to go back to a slower tempo and uh, work a little bit more on this and then maybe try uh, to play it faster but I think uh, th this is a pretty good speed by itself uh, and uh, also I'm only playing the left hand for this one and uh, adding the right hand melody and uh, coordinating both hands is uh, another challenge for this rhythm that I haven't done yet, but uh, that should be all for today. <laughs>